Hey guys, Hexer Tech here for another video tutorial for you guys. Today I'm going to be doing a quick review of a product that I found online. It's called All My Apps, and I found it uh, just a few days ago, and I've been playing around with it, so I thought I'd do a review on it and show you guys what it's all about. So let me go ahead and open up my internet browser here. Alright, so basically I'm just going to type in All My Apps in Google. And it's the first link that comes up here. Basically, the product is an application manager, so if you have programs on your computer and you download them all the time or you have lots of programs you want to get, instead of having to go to individual websites and download the executable files, All My Apps lets you get all of your applications in one kind of program. In addition to that, if you have a lot of different programs and you restore a computer, for instance, or if you get a new computer, uh, you can actually save all your applications to a profile and log in and download them again when you get onto your new PC. So let me go ahead and log into my profile I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about here. Uh, this is the website and this is what it looks like. You can see they have everything from web browsers to uh, conversion programs. The basic ones, of course, you've got your web browser if you want to install that. Um, they've got different categories that show you the most popular applications and things that they think you may or may not need so it's a really nice design for the website here I'll go ahead and go to my profile so I can show you how you add applications so if you go to your profile and you go to my lists you'll see here these are all the applications that I've actually downloaded I have a decent number of them but this is just a combination of programs I've uh, acquired over time. I've got different browsers and all kinds of different applications. Basically what you want to do if you want to add an application is you search for it. So say I wanted to download Format Factory. I actually did a tutorial on this previously as well. Great application. You can go here. You can go to the page for the application. It gives you a preview of the app. If you want to add it to your profile you can click the plus button here and you can add it to one of your folders. I think it has a limit to how many folders you can make, but I've got a few. I've got portable security, browsers, just different categories, and then I've got this one here is where I store all of my applications. And so once you click on the plus, I can actually remove it, or I can do the plus and that'll add it to it. So if I go back to my list here, this is my selection you can see. Now this has just been added to my profile. To download the applications, what you would want to do is go to the actual web page and say I wanted to install this. I would click install now and you would click launch application. The first time it's going to ask you if you want to download the application because there is a manager for the applications because it doesn't just download the program it uses an application to uh, run all of them simultaneously. I've actually got the application opened here so I'll just show you what it looks like the interface here. So this is the actual interface of the application. Uh, it's really a neat little program. I like that it actually has updates. So if you're familiar with Apple products, I've got like the iPad and iPhone, that kind of thing. Well, they have a little section um, aside from the actual applications that you own that says updates. And so you can actually look and see what programs you have. And if you need to update an application, you can actually select all the ones you want to update and have your uh, program actually automatically update everything. The program itself, all my apps, is a little bit slow in loading some things like updates and when you actually want to find the applications. Yes, it's a little bit slow, but in the long-term use, I think it's worth it. I think that there's a lot of um, uses for it and things that would kind of benefit over time. I'll go ahead and show you the update panel so you can see what that's like and then I'll show you a few more features of the actual application here. Okay, so here's the list of applications that I currently have installed that actually are in need of an update. Myself, personally, I really don't update applications all that often, but uh, I might be tempted to update applications more often now that I have this available to me. So this is a list of all the applications that I had on here. Uh, the nice thing about this is that these are not applications I necessarily installed from all my apps. I already had most of my applications on my PC, so this actually went and searched my computer and found the applications that I downloaded, 
that all my apps supports. So I can actually click on each of these little check boxes and whichever ones I want to update, select those, and then go to uh, install selected updates, and it'll do that all automatically for me, which is really, really cool. Um, again, it's kind of like the Apple interface, so it might save you a little bit of time as opposed to having to maybe uninstall an application, reinstall it, or go through the long process of doing it for each individual application. So that's really a nice feature. And then you can, of course, go to all my apps, and you can see a list here of your applications. If there was an application that you wanted to install, so I'll just, let's see here, I'll go and find a quick application. Let's go to our picks. So say that I wanted to install Facebook Messenger for Windows. So I can go here as a free install. And most of these applications are free installs. There's not really that many that I found that are actually uh, paid. I don't even know if there are any paid ones. But you can see here it takes about a second or two. And then you get the option to install the actual application. So all I have to do is double click on it. And it's going to install it. And it's really, really fast as far as the installing process. Um, it's almost identical to installing an app on your phone, which is really a nice thing because I don't like having to go through the setup processes. This does also prevent you from having to go through ad advertisements and um, making sure that you uncheck the little programs that a lot of applications want to install in addition to what you're installing. A lot of people have like my web search and things like that on their computer because they didn't bother reading you know what the actual application was installing on the PC so you can see here that after a few seconds this application it's a very simple application it's a messenger for your um, Windows desktop but it's already installed and even though it's a small application I mean whatever application you're wanting to download it's probably gonna download just as fast as that uh, and I can see all my applications here all at once. This is everything that I have installed. There's your updates tab. And then again, you have access to your list as well. So you can go here and uh, see what applications you've actually added. And if there's one that you don't have on your computer, if it is in your list, you can easily install it. Uh, and then finally, the last thing that this program has is my devices. So if perhaps you have two different computers, like at the moment I have a MacBook and I have my desktop here, if I were to have, well I actually run Windows on my MacBook as well, so I could actually go and download the same application, all my apps, onto my, uh, my laptop, and then have a specific set of applications for that, because you'll actually see that, you know, whatever you have on your laptop, would be somewhere around here and then I can see what's on here so you can kind of mix and match applications and see what you have on your current computer that maybe you do or do not have on another machine so it's really cool you can kind of adjust that and get applications you maybe uh, had on an old PC and that's really the, all there is to it I thought it was also neat it actually automatically found a profile picture that I had on a website somehow I'm not really sure how it got this picture but um, I thought that was kind of cool. Other than that, I mean, it's a very simple application. It gives you access to um, a whole bunch of applications. I mean, I've found third-party applications that I never thought anyone knew about. And this actual program, this online service, it had probably about 90% of the applications that I used. The very small percentage of them that uh, were not on the website were programs I wouldn't expect anyone to have, so I don't really hold that against them. And that's all there is to it, guys. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you thought about my tutorial, and uh, tell me what you guys think. Alright, thanks for watching.